r slash ask reddit people who've dated a psycho what incident made you aware that you were dating a psycho well we were on the freeway one day i was driving i said something mildly teasing and she put her hands over my eyes and said apologize or we both die i did apologize and soon after that i extricated myself from that relationship when i met my ex-wife there was some talk in her family about a car wreck a few of them maybe the ex her mom and her stepsister had been in a year or so earlier toward the end of our two-year marriage she admitted that she caused it to try to kill them all we were riding the train home from a date i look over and she's logging into her ex-boyfriend's facebook account i asked her what she was doing and she straight up told me that she was logging into her ex-boyfriend's facebook account when i asked why she said i'm just checking up on him i want to make sure he's okay he never changed his password her checking up on him became reading through not just his statuses but also his private messages i asked why she couldn't just look at his profile normally she said he blocked me when i asked why she couldn't just text him if it was a big of a deal she said he blocked her number two i had so many more questions but she started getting pissed off and defensive and i still had a long train ride home so i'll let it be didn't really understand how unhealthy she was until after our breakup. She proceeded to key her into the side of my car about a week later because she assumed I had already started seeing other women. She tracked down every single person I know on Facebook including family members and the CEO of my company to send them a fairly unflattering and risk-a-ray picture. The picture also came with a page long story of how I couldn't be trusted as I'd beat her, beat her, stolen money from her, etc. Had to get a restraining order and take her to court over trying to sabotage my life career. It was super messed up and I genuinely hope she got some help. Thankfully, I haven't heard from her in almost 4 years, and I now live on the opposite side of the country. I'm in med school and she threatened to stab my hand so that I could never do surgery in the future. I shaved my vag and he accused me of cheating because of it. Mine accused me of cheating after I started plucking my eyebrows. He demanded to know who I needed my brows to look so good for, since he didn't care what they looked like. Mine accused me of cheating when I started going to study at the, very quiet, library while in college. I was taking organic chemistry in some 4000 level science classes and pretty understandably, spent a lot of time studying. He was a high school dropout who played Battlefield and Call of Duty at top volume when he wasn't working at his part time job at large box store and it was distracting as duck to study at home. I wound up leaving him a few years later to go to grad school as far away from him as I could get. He wound up moving back to our hometown to start a lawn business that's pretty much a front for his cocaine dealing and usage. Maybe not a psychopath but certainly a sociopath. So many little things to choose from. Here's one. In order to walk from the bedroom to the kitchen, I had to walk through the living room. This involved me walking in front of the TV. I had to walk in front of it to get to the kitchen. I always did it super quickly, but I always got screamed at. Sometimes I would have to wait 20-30 minutes before I was allowed to walk past. One day, while my husband was out, he's my ex-husband now, I decided to rotate the entire living room. I put the TV on a different wall and moved the couch so it faced the TV. Basically the living room was exactly the same, just rotated 90 degrees. The living room was a square so it functionally made no difference. Except now when I walked from the bedroom to the kitchen, I didn't have to walk between the couch and the TV. When my husband got home, he saw the living room, said nothing about it. We ate dinner and he watched TV as usual. Then we went to bed. The next morning he refused to get out of bed or talk to me. He refused to leave the house, go to class, go watch TV, anything. He would not say one word. I kept trying to get him to tell me what was wrong and he wouldn't. For 3 solid days he only got out of bed to grab food or use the restroom. He would not talk to me, would not make eye contact, or acknowledge my presence. I was panicking thinking he was having some sort of episode. It might seem obvious now but I had no clue what I had done wrong. At the end of 3 days he said he felt like I had adequately been punished for rearranging the living room without asking. He even told me to keep it that way. It made more sense and he liked it better like that. He still had to punish me for what I did though. We are sitting at a restaurant. She ordered the chicken cordon bleu and a side of fries. She barely has taken a couple bites and she slams a fry down on the plate. She pushes the whole thing away and states, that's not ketchup, that's catsup, then proceeds to walk out the door. He'd get out his guns and 
with the safety on, point them at me and go bang and when I'd jump, he'd laugh and laugh and say, that'd be funny if the safety was off, wouldn't it, wouldn't it, and then the next day he'd gaslight me and tell me he didn't do anything of the sort the night before, he was the king of gaslighting, it got to the point where I was seriously doubting my own sanity because he would deny everything. Woke up one morning and she told me that she kept having dreams where I was dead. Then said the kicker. And, I wake up happy. Engagement over shortly after that. Edit. Many many people saying. That means she was happy you were alive. Duh. UHH. No. That's not what she meant. My friend found a psycho. Met her at the bar and ended up taking her home. She decided it should be more than just a one night stand and suggested a date the following weekend. He obliges. Their first date was meeting her parents, where she told them how they were going to spend the rest of their lives together, where they were going to buy a house, the names of their two children etc etc. He dated her for about a month and after they broke up, she started stalking his friends. Not him, his friends. She'd somehow find out where we would be and threaten us with lawsuits for ruining her life. I was dating a girl that demanded I call every day. She would hit me for sitting wrong. She once lashed out on me over a social media website that was popular in my country, Loonstorm. You could see who went to look at your profile. She noticed that a lot of people from my hometown went to look at her profile. She was furious. She said that you should talk about me enough so that people aren't curious. When I said wouldn't that make people more curious, she lost it and screamed at me. She also screamed at me for telling other people that a family member of mine attempted suicide before I told her. She was hot, but crazy. I broke up with her and for years later she would send me emails telling me I ruined her life. I met her on a train a couple of years later. She was with her new boyfriend. He looked like a whipped dog. Went out to eat at Buffalo Wild Wings one night with a few friends and I told her about this. See a couple of her friends come in and sit at a table near us and they never ordered anything. They just drank water and sat there, occasionally glancing at us. After we're done eating we walk outside and sure enough I see my girlfriend's ex now for obvious reasons. Car in the parking lot. Her driver's seat was leaned all the way back and I could just barely see that she was in the driver's seat trying to hide. So I'm already kinda weirded out at this point so me and my friends leave and as soon as we back out, sure enough her car starts and backs out as well. She began to follow us through the parking lot. At this point I'm texting her asking her what's going on but she kept saying she was with her mom hanging out. Needless to say I ended things shortly after that. She was just manipulative. Should've listened to her friend who warned me not to date her. But I did. Twice. Just all sorts of stupid to get me to buy her things. When I finally just closed her out of my life, she threatened to get her dad involved. She was in her mid-twenties. Come on. Then she bragged about using me for money to mutual friends. I don't generally hold grudges. But for her, I made an exception. <laughs> Convinced my entire friend group that I'm a sociopath and got addicted to cocaine right after breaking up with me. Also became a dealer and tried to get one of my friends addicted to crack cocaine for a bit of money she also found out an autistic guy was in love with her so she started flirting with him for his money and now he can pay for college. We were long distance. While visiting him I found handwritten love letters that were verbatim what he had written me. Except different women's names on each one. I was married to one. He said he was going to the woods to shoot himself. I called police. Told them I thought he was having a military PTSD event. They stopped him, took his gun, and informed me he was never in the military. Four years into my marriage. WTF. I took photos of all the holes in my walls and got myself a restraining order and a divorce. Courts don't much appreciate stolen Vela being your excuse for violence and emotional abuse manipulation. My ex-girlfriend would wake up in the middle of the night and wake me up just to accuse me of cheating on her. Wanted me to text him my work schedule and then would call me on the work phone and wait in the parking lot for me to come out of work. Wanted to know how much was in each paycheck. One time I texted him my work schedule and he misread it and freaked out non-stop for 6 hours searching for me called my whole family and was about to alert the police. It was his own fault he misread what I had texted him. I broke up with him in public because he would not believe it when I broke up with him in private. It was finally to the point where random people who were nearby were like you just got dumped. She ducked me in the butt with a strap on while I was sleeping in the middle of the night. Thanks for watching. 
Be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe to be entered into our iMac giveaway. Yeah.